All right, well, let's get into what we've been playing this week. I can almost, I don't even have to ask you. Mm. Uh, I can almost guess. I'm assuming it rhymes with bales of, of disguise. Disguise, yeah. <laughs> bales of disguise. Is it bales of disguise? Yes. Oh my god! Yes, it's bales of disguise. I've been playing bales of disguise all week long. I've been shirking all types of duties. Oh no! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've been shirking duties, but I've certainly been doing a lot less work, a lot less thrifting, a lot less of everything. Tales of Arise has taken up my entire life right now, and it is glorious. It is so good. It is so good. I've seen a lot of people talking about it online, and I've seen a lot of TikToks about it, and people are loving this game. And to be honest, it looks kind of cool. I like the, how the combat looks. It's describe so the combat. Describe the combat in sexual terms for me. Just kidding. Don't do that. Uh, okay. okay. I was about to say, oh, goodness. He got really, he, he like, he straightened up in his chair. Right. He's like, oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> but no, describe the combat. Like, what, what's it like? So it's an action RPG, and whenever you run into an enemy, it transports you to, like, a battlefield plane where there's a barrier around it. So it's kind of like, it's just a circular arena. Okay. I and mean, then you fight all the, that's yeah. been done. Yeah. And you fight all the enemies within the area, and you have, a regular attack button and then you have buttons that let you do your arts or like just special moves and you have something called an ag bar which is an action gauge and when that runs out you can't use the special moves anymore but it replenishes over time so the thing that this game is doing different is that there is no mp which is usually magic points so you can continuously use your arts and your special moves without worrying about saving them for the next fight or anything because they keep regenerating mm -hmm. now what they have changed is that they've added cp or i think it's cure points and all of your healing arts take away from your cp and that has to be regenerated at campsites when you rest or with special items so that's the thing that people were kind of bummed about because they were like man now i gotta have my healing i can't heal if <laughs> if i don't have enough cp well i, I get but the grievance it's kind of like mp it's the got, same thing as MP. they have one foot in like really ramping the action up and they still have another foot in pulling it back because if everything was on a recharge and the cp could be on a separate recharge right as far as like right. the healing it would still ebb and flow your healing and your attack and if they ramp up the enemy's aggressiveness to match you being able to use your specials and your healing more often, it would make for more frantic battles and less management in between. So I get where they're coming from. True. It's still pretty frantic, though, and it's always satisfying. Mm. They have something called boost attacks and boost strikes. Now, I get them confused sometimes, but I think boost attacks, each character has their own individual one, and it performs a special function in battle. So, for instance, the girl on the cover art, because I don't want to really say any names or get anything in the spoilers. Okay. The girl on the cover art, she uses a gun, and when you're fighting aerial enemies, her boost attack shoots multiple lasers at the enemies, and then it downs them. So mm. any enemies that are flying, they fall down on the ground, and you can get some extra hits in. Good. The main character, he uses a fire-based sword attack that knocks down enemies. Any enemy you touch, bosses, whatever, it knocks them down, and it's awesome. And there are a bunch of other characters. There's six characters in total that you get to play as. And just all of them are... Just, oh, God. I get so flustered when talking about this game because there's so much I want to talk about. And it's so good. And I don't want to spoil anybody on anything. If you are interested at all in this game, you should go buy it at full price. Mm. Period. Wow. At full price. You will not be disappointed. I have been playing it for about 45 hours. I'm at the end game, like the last dungeon area, mm -hmm. and I'm just like sweeping up all the side content because I don't want to miss out on anything. Like, I want to do it all. And that's not real common for me. A lot of times when I beat a game or get close to beating a game, I just want to beat it and be done with it. Mm -hmm. And part of the reason is because I have to stay off of YouTube. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I can't get spoilers. This has happened historically with me a lot where I would a new game would come out, and the day it came out, or the day before, I would get on YouTube and then I'd see a spoiler. Mm. Like a big fucking spoiler. And I'd be like, no! <laughs> <laughs> so now I just stay off of YouTube when a new game comes out. And when I beat it, then I'll get back on YouTube. But thankfully, I have not been spoiled at all for this game. I love it. It's great. The story's great. The characters are really endearing. The relationships that they form, the bonds, mm -hmm. everything. It's 
looking like it might be my game of the year, man. How much anime bullshit are we talking? Okay, so there is anime bullshit. Of it's course. a Tales game. It's, it's Bandai Tales Namco. Game. Yeah. You know, but I think what it does well, even if anime bullshit is something that you're opposed to, what it does well is far and away above what that can bring down your experience in your experience. Okay. It's just uh, yeah no I've played like games there's a lot that of the were... lot of the grunts you know like no I, I, I was gonna say I I've, I've played games that were <sighs> filled to the brim with anime bullshit but the gameplay was so good you're, like you said I did not care so you're right sounds like that might be the case you here won't, you won't care mm-hmm. yeah Ooh, so good oh my god so good <laughs> it's so yourself good. Calm down. I can't 